Let's start things off with a story about the Cooperative Tree Improvement Program. Now, this is a Georgia Forestry Commission initiative which breeds pine trees, especially for southeastern growers. The Monitor's Rick Trepto shows us the tedious process at the Georgia Forestry Commission Pine Tree Breeding Farm in central Georgia. This is the Georgia Forestry Commission's Arrowhead Seed Orchard in Bleckley County. You'll immediately notice the trees are planted farther apart than a normal plantation. These need more air and sunlight. But the reason we're doing this is to create a population that we can select from that'll, that'll produce the kind of uh, seed and seedlings and ultimately the kind of saw timber trees that we're after here for the landowners of Georgia. We went up about 45 feet in these loblolly pines. The bags protect female flowers from outside germination. They're just absolutely loaded. This particular bag had about female or about 30 different females. This one over here has 18. This one has 18. The actual pollination is pretty simple. And then what I'm going to do is actually put it in this bag and inject it. I'll poke it in and I'll hold that so you can see it and you'll see the pollen coming out. After that, the injection spot is sealed and they move on. Back down on the ground, Steve McCann, North Carolina State University's director of the Tree Improvement Program, and Russ Powell of the Georgia Forestry Commission said the multi-state program has worked well since 1956. This geographic location is just about ideal for loblolly pine flowering. What you want to do is have a location where you don't get a lot of uh, heavy frost, you don't get a lot of wind damage, ice storms, that sort of thing. This breeding is a very slow process. It takes a year and a half before cones with seeds in them can be collected. Then a long grow out period to make the trees with better genetic characteristics. We'll grow them for a number of years in progeny tests to, to determine their genetic value. Um, and when we identify the, the superior parents, we will then put them into a, an orchard where we can commercially produce large numbers uh, of seed. So it'll be 10, 15, 20 years before um, landowners can make use of these, these uh, seedlings. The value of the breeding that we're doing here is staggering. Uh, we estimate using very conservative gain estimates of about 400 to 450 million dollars is is the value in today's dollar of the value of, of the work that we're actually doing here. Two-thirds of Georgia is forested. It means 472 million dollars in tax revenues to the state. For the industry to remain that strong, the seemingly tedious long-term commitments to the trees must be kept. I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.